And we're back. All right. Now, the first time, the first mission I didn't take was this one. It was remove disorder units, and I was I, I kind of despaired about this during the playthrough because not only does this actually have a cutscene in front of it, meaning this is a plot-related mission, this is supposed to be the first time you meet up with the disorder units. Aside from the cutscene, there's really nothing that that wasn't already in the Sismalaya base. It's the same mission, essentially, just it takes place in a subway as opposed to this base that's on the surface of Mars. But it's the same thing. There are disorder units, they constantly spawn, you're constantly running low on ammo. We really... All you missed out on was that cutscene. Uh, but uh, because this is supposed to be the first time you're meeting up with the disorder units, I'm going to be taking Magic Bullet. And I'm going to see if Magic Bullet can use one of those missile launchers. No, it can't! Shit. Oh well. Can use extensions? No. Extensions? Not likely. Are they heavy? They've, extensions seem heavier in Armored Core 2 than they do in Armored Core 3. Especially heavier than they are in Nexus. I've been playing a significant amount of Nexus, trying to regain my aptitude for that game and Armored Core in general, uh, because the mechanics of Nexus are wildly different from this. Like, the con like it controls the same, or at least I prefer to control it the same. Nexus had an improved, and I'm saying that with huge sarcasm quotes, uh, improved control scheme that uh, supposedly allows you to control your AC better. I could never get used to it. The old control scheme, the old, the old, you know, D-pad and shoulder buttons control scheme worked fine has worked fine for me so that's what I use it's what I it's what I used I tried to use it in armored core 4 it didn't it quite work it's probably one of the reasons I don't like armored core 4 um, but I'm gonna take magic bullet because this is supposed to be the first time you encounter them so let's go with a non super powered AC unless you count the L24 We're going to be seeing a lot of Magic Bullet in the future. Like, when I go... Like, it's going to be... There. Can't speak. It's going to be coming back for uh, Armored Core 3. We're not going to be seeing Blues again. Just a second. Ah, some caffeine for luck. Remove disorder units. And hopefully the cutscene won't make my frames wig out too much. This is an emergency. Disorder units have been discovered in the 17th district of the underground high-speed railway. I'm requesting your services to eliminate them. Disorder units are unmanned, armored weapons of unknown origin. They've appeared in many places throughout Mars and have caused severe damage in the cities and facilities. This railway is part of a critical transport network on Mars. Should this get out of hand, the economic repercussions would be immense. The situation requires immediate attention. The LCC is currently handling other issues. Therefore, we've decided that hiring a raven is the best course of action. Please take care of the situation. We cannot let these weapons of unknown origin hinder progress on Mars. Failure is not an option. See, what happened to that smug git? Oh, that's right, he pissed people off and got blew up. Yeah. And cutscene. I like that cutscene. I think it's awesome. And I don't have a biosensor, as you probably won't be going to this mission for the first time, so there's another bit of a... Uh... Now, the good thing about the uh, disorder units, though, is that they will kill each other, as you've probably been noticing just now. And uh, I'm going to be somewhat uh, in the red after this. Not that I'm going to care, because I have four million. Uh, you can hit these guys, as you can see, if you're careful. And there, another one bit the dust. 
even without a biosensor. This mission is not hard. The hardest part of this mission is the same with the rest of the Disorder missions. Uh, you're always going to be running low on ammo. You're all, they're always going to be pecking away at your AP. Whenever the Disorders show up, you should basically expect to get the crap shot out of you. And there's another one. That's something that makes this mission easier, is you can actually goad them into killing each other. Um, well, trying to shoot through each other, at least. And, uh, they will. They, they will kill each other to try to get to you, and, uh... That's a useful tactic for later in the game. I didn't really show it off all that much, but the first time you go through the game, it's pretty essential. I just got two for one with a single blade strike. That was nice. Missed him, though. Got him, though. And we got one dude left. Hey, buddy! But yeah. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. These guys are one of the reasons why it's always wise to carry a blade, because you will run out of ammo if you try to spam your weapons at these guys, because, especially in the Malaya base mission. Ooh, I actually did come out on, in the green on that one. All right, cool. Uh, especially in the Malaya base mission, where you will run out of ammo, so it's always wise to carry the laser blade. Always, no matter what armored core game it is, I always have a laser blade equipped. Always. It's, on, it's always on my staple ACs, you know, whether or not I take them into versus or in single player, it's always equipped with a laser blade because shit happens and you never know. So let's go ahead and go on to the next mission, which is Defend Arden River Lab. So let's see what's going on in this one. I'm not going to take it yet, I just want to know. Emerald forces have crossed the Arden River and are closing in on our lab. Uh-huh. They have been confirmed as mobile units armed with long-range weapons. The lab has no defense system, so it will undoubtedly be destroyed once they are within firing range. We therefore request that you eliminate the assault force. Yep. Our real problem is the extreme width of the river. If the enemy units come in force, there's a good chance that they'll be able to break through. Uh -huh. We've set three relay points. You'll be notified when the enemy passes each one. Use this information to prevent them from breaking through our last line of defense. Good luck. Okay. Should I take... Let's go ahead and take blues on this one. And uh, blues is currently using the uh, big-ass missile launcher we got from... I already forgot. From the, from the, from the, from the, no, not the mission in the snow. Fuck it, I don't remember. I just did it and I don't remember. <laughs> Damn it. It's also using missile extensions, which are very useful against ACs, and is especially useful in Nexus. Nexus is all about the fucking missiles. Like, they, they, they were really lackluster in Armored Core 3. You could, re you could deal with missiles really easily in Armored Core 3. Not in Nexus, with the heat mechanics in that game. Hell no, you need missiles. Um, let's go ahead and jump into Defend Arden River Lab and probably screw it up. Maybe. Maybe we won't. Probably will. We've arrived at the target area, commencing AC drop. Main system engaging combat mode. Prevent the attackers from breaking our last line of defense. Points A, B, and C are relay points. You'll be notified when they pass each one. You know, if they were so desperate to stop these guys, why couldn't they hire more than one Raven? Or why couldn't they deploy more than one unit? Anyone who's played Command and Conquer knows 
that you deploy more than one. So rally point A, B and C, gotcha. Probably the big. They actually. Oh, that's one thing. They actually unnerfed. They performed the opposite of a nerf on the Karasawa in um, another age. What they did was they actually made it fire faster. You notice it's not quite the most accurate weapon. Not at all. Uh, so what they did was they actually made the fucking thing fire faster in another age so that you actually can hit these things. Or I actually would be able to, or this the other game. Where am I going? I'm go heading to point C. I'm heading out of the map too. Now, little notification. Point C is secure, so let's go ahead. Or oh, I'm. How the fuck? I thought it was over at point C. Oh well. Let's head over to point A. One of these. I don't know. It's not giving me any kind of heads up. You know, it would be more useful if you were to be telling me where they are in terms of, you know, what point they're approaching and not what point they're passing right now. I suppose, you know, either would be a good bit of information to share, but, uh... And I could really use a, a point display on my fucking HUD. Ooh! I see a scumbag. Where the fuck am I? Am I heading towards point A? Yeah, I, yeah, I am. Fuck am I now? Oh, that's above me. All right. Be great. Be awesome now if I could get a heads up about where they are, what they're doing, where they're going, which direction they're heading. Bullseye. Oh, fucking hit detection. Die. You know, it would be really balls if I suddenly failed this, because it wasn't telling me anything. I mean, do you immediately fail the mission if it passes a relay point? You know, then what's the use of having them? Isn't the point of a relay point to relay information to you? Is it me? Is it me? Is it just me who finds this stupid? Anyone? Ow. AC versus helicopter. You win this round. So I'm just gonna start going, swerving from side to side. That's the helicopter. I don't know why it's reading as ground level, but it is. Bitch. Mission objective oh, okay. achieved. System switch to normal mode. Well, that's that. That well, was relatively painless.
and I get more money, even though I don't care. 